Hello and welcome to Flight Path. I'm Chris Jones, the Chief Marketing Officer at McCarran International Airport. We hosted more than 48 million passengers in 2017, besting a 10-year-old record and marking the busiest year ever in the airport's 70-year history. Here's a breakdown of the numbers. McCarran International, the nation's eighth busiest airport, hosted 48.5 million passengers in 2017, breaking the previous high of 47.7 million annual passengers set back in 2007. McCarran posted multiple all-time high months, including the best December. In fact, eight out of the 12 months last year topped over four million passengers a month, which was unprecedented. October was the busiest month ever in the history of McCarran, with 4.3 million travelers flying into or out of McCarran, up 2.2% compared to the same time last year. Ground transportation set a new milestone of 5.4 million airport pickups by taxis, Uber, and Lyft providers, an increase of 11.7% from the prior year. We are really thrilled that we broke our all-time passenger high record in 2017. That's 10 years ago since our last all-time high. And what we're really happy about is that it shows the strength of Las Vegas as a destination. You know, almost 50% of our visitors come through the air and just shows the economic strength and benefits that we have for all of Nevada. Significant growth in service from low-cost carriers Frontier, Spirit, and Sun Country boosted domestic traffic totals at McCarran by 2.4%. Spirit added more than 230,000 seats to Las Vegas, a 7% increase compared to 2016, while Frontier was up 23% with 432,000 additional seats to the market. So overall this past year, we had newer increased service from 26 domestic destinations and new international service from Munich and Cologne. More than 3.5 million international passengers traveled through McCarran, led by Canadian carriers WestJet Airlines and Air Canada, which served a combined total of 1.8 million. UK carriers British Airways and Virgin Atlantic carried nearly 605,000 passengers, while Mexico was the third largest source of international passengers at McCarran last year. Passenger volume is forecasted to remain steady throughout 2018, and with renewed focus on providing the best customer service possible, travelers visiting McCarran this year can expect to be treated like VIPs, very important passengers. Did you know the Department of Aviation operates an integrated system of airports to meet the aviation needs of a variety of customers? Gene Sport Aviation Center supports recreational activity better suited for airspace outside of busy Las Vegas. After more than 20 years, it's getting a few upgrades. Located 20 miles south of Las Vegas on I-15, Gene Sport Aviation Center is ideally suited for fly-ins and recreational aviation including aerobatics, ultralights, gliders, and skydiving. The facility features two paved runways, a 6,000 square foot special event center, paved ramp, a self-service fuel island, and a grassy area with two gas barbecue pits. The airport has been a haven for sports aviation enthusiasts since 1996 when the Department of Aviation paved the gravel runway and made other improvements. But as air traffic in the Las Vegas Valley has increased, Gene has become an even more popular alternative for flight schools and sport aircraft operations. We've had a lot of uh, increase in gene of the uh, commercial operators that do flight training down here. Uh, so that alleviates both Henderson and North Las Vegas of that type of traffic. Gene's attractive to them because uh, it enables them to do a lot of touch and go type maneuvers without tower control. And it's a lot less congested here. So for a student pilot, for instance, that is uh, money well spent because they get a lot more of those maneuvers in in a shorter period of time. To enhance pilot safety and improve the customer experience, Several upgrades are currently underway. 177,000 square feet of existing ramp space will be completely rebuilt, and construction of additional apron area will add 234,000 square feet and bring the transient customer area up to current FAA design criteria. And with that comes new hardware for tie-down, six rows of tie-down space for aircraft, and new lines for ingress and egress into the ramp area. In addition to improvements on the ramp, new edge lighting for the connecting taxiways and reflective edge markers for the apron will be added. Upgraded apron flood lighting and cable tie-downs for aircraft parking for both the existing and new apron areas round out the list of improvements. I think the customer service improvements that we'll see in Gene after construction are we're, in, we're installing LED lighting, brand new state-of-the-art lighting. Uh, that'll provide a very bright ramp surface. Uh, that'll enable pilots to do pre-flight at any hour of the day. Uh, they can see oil dipsticks, for instance, something as simple as that, that they would have to use a flashlight for in the past. Uh, they don't have to do that now. Uh, also, customer service is provided by the fact that they can more safely ingress and egress the ramp area and navigate to and from the movement areas from the ramp area with that lighting. 
and then lastly the uh, fuel service area. We're increasing the space around that area by reconfiguring the way the ramp is painted. Construction on the $2.3 million project began in January with substantial completion scheduled for sometime in April. For more information, visit McCarran.com and search the keyword Gene. Viva Aerobus returned to McCarran in December, launching daily non-stop service between Las Vegas and Mexico City. Here's a look at the celebration marking the occasion. One, two, three. All right. With the snip of a ribbon, airport management, airline partners, and the LVCVA celebrated the return of Viva Aerobus to McCarran and Las Vegas. The non-stop flight provides passengers connectivity from Mexico's largest city and is expected to transport more than 100,000 passengers per year. Las Vegas is a very popular destination in Mexicans, uh, second most important a tourism generator in, in Las Vegas comes from Mexico. 1.2 million passengers come every year. And Mexico City particularly is a very popular destination where a lot of Mexicans come from leisure, travel, and of course, a, a lot of business. Mexico annually ranks as the second largest source of international visitors to Las Vegas. International travelers stay longer and spend an average of 80% more per trip. The new daily service from Viva Aerobus will provide passengers more travel options from this valuable market. McCarran has invested heavily in getting that process for the international passenger to have capacity, to have the amenities, and to have a very smooth, efficient type of experience once they get here. This service by one of Mexico's low-cost airlines provides customers an affordable way to visit while helping Las Vegas achieve its goal of increasing international visits over the next decade. You know, we're very fortunate that we have a, a very good and hardworking airline development team and uh, working with McCarran Airport and looking at opportunities and markets around. And uh, they had conversations with Viva Aerobus for the opportunity to expand service uh, for a unique segment in Mexico. And I think it just worked very well together being the destination that the Mexicans love to be at, but it just worked out perfectly. The LVCVA estimates this route will have a $78 million annual economic impact on Southern Nevada, making the service a win-win for passengers and our community. For a list of other airlines serving this important market, visit McCarran.com. In today's digital world, getting information is just a click away on a smartphone, tablet, or computer. To make that process as simple as possible for airport customers, McCarran's website recently got a makeover. Let's take a look. Creating an attractive, user-friendly website is important. In the consumer's eyes, a website is a reflection of the business itself. Many consumers form first impressions of McCarran online before they even set foot in the airport. Having a good website is one of the most important tools in helping travelers prepare for their trip before coming to the airport. In addition to new features and improved navigation, the look of the website was updated to reflect current design trends and improve ease of use. In addition, what we like is the use of promotional space as well as icons for user navigation. Website metrics reveal most online visitors are seeking flight data. The new design puts arrival and departure information front and center with an easy to use tool that allows visitors to search for flights by city, airline, or flight number from the homepage. Once the flight has been selected, the site automatically provides flight specific information including which terminal to use, where to park, the gate information, and what amenities are located nearby. One of my favorite parts about McCarran's redesign is enhanced airline pages. Not only does it have information about the airlines themselves, but it has information specific to the customers that are flying on these airlines. As a digital representation of our physical facilities, the new website makes finding essential information quick and easy in order to provide the best customer service possible, online and in person. Site navigation has been enhanced with multiple paths and additional pages to help travelers find what they need. Dining and shopping options are presented in multiple formats, from an alphabetical listing that can be filtered by gate location to easy-to-read concourse maps. Comprehensive parking information, rates, and driving directions are just a few additional enhancements. The new design offers travelers a more mobile-friendly experience. It automatically adjusts its layout to multiple screen sizes to maximize its appearance on the variety of mobile devices used by travelers on the go. The redesign also enhances accessibility for travelers with special needs. More information is provided about the airport's efforts to make its facilities accessible to all travelers and website content is available to visitors who use translator and text-to-speak features. And to assist international customers, website content is available in 10 different languages with just a click of the button. 
The web design team comprised of members from the Department of Aviation's Information Systems and Public Affairs and Marketing Divisions also recently overhauled websites for other airports owned and operated by Clark County, such as North Las Vegas Airport and Henderson Executive Airport. To see the improvements and prepare for your next trip, visit McCarran.com. To reach out to our growing number of Hispanic customers, each episode of Flight Path features a segment in Spanish with English subtitles. Here's Gabrielle Muro to tell us more about Wi-Fi. En el año 2005, el Departamento de Aviación lanzó a través del aeropuerto McCarran el servicio gratis de Wi-Fi, conexión inalámbrica a Internet, la cual ha resultado ser una de las más redes más grandes de Wi-Fi gratis en el aeropuerto de Estados Unidos. Desde entonces, dicho servicio ha demostrado ser muy popular con los clientes del aeropuerto. Wi-Fi está disponible en todas las zonas públicas del aeropuerto, permitiendo que los clientes con teléfonos inteligentes, tabletas y ordenadores tengan acceso ilimitado a la Internet con alta velocidad. Wi-Fi también está disponible en las zonas de embarque. Los pasajeros tendrán acceso a Internet mientras que el avión está estacionado. Una vez que el avión comience a moverse, los pasajeros deben seguir las reglas de la aerolínea con respecto al uso de dispositivos electrónicos. Al acceder el Wi-Fi es muy sencillo. En su dispositivo electrónico, abra su navegador y selecciona McCarran Wi-Fi y enseguida selecciona el botón Accept. El sistema de Wi-Fi gratuito también es compatible con las aplicaciones empresarias internas de las compañías aéreas y los inquilinos del aeropuerto McCarran. Eso ayuda a que el aeropuerto sea más eficiente y ayuda a mantener bajos los costos operativos. Did you know McCarran International Airport is the gateway to Las Vegas for nearly half of all visitors to Southern Nevada? That means the airport is often the first and last impression a visitor has of the destination. To make that impression the best one possible, we have a team of dedicated passenger service representatives who are at your service. Where did you come from? Phoenix, Chicago, O'Hare? You want Carousel 13, it's just going to be right down the way. Passenger service representatives, or PSRs for short, are easy to identify in their bright blue uniforms and have been providing great customer service at McCarran for more than 25 years. If you go straight ahead, after you pass the PSRs staff the airport information booths, helping travelers with questions about flight times, gate locations, ground transportation, and shopping and dining options. You go out, across, and up, we'll take you right to it. You're welcome. Have a good day. For travelers who do not speak English, our PSRs can still assist. Most of us are bilingual. Um, we do have various uh, languages we speak here. Uh, but we also have a phone bank we can call a language bank. And what it is is that we also grab a sheet, we hand it to the passenger, and if they recognize their, their native language, they can point to it, we could tell the language line that, and they'll actually get an interpreter to help us out with uh, any type of uh, directions, instructions, things like that. These valuable employees also serve as roving ambassadors, assisting passengers throughout the airport as needed. Our team is amazing. <laughs> we work extremely great side by side. Any situation that arises, we help each other You know, right away. If it's in Terminal 3, we can help from here, even if it's by a phone call away, or if we're using our radios to be able to assist in any way that we can, then that's what we do. You know, help out as much as we can. Well, it's great here working at the airport because you get to meet uh, passengers from all over the world. With Las Vegas being a world destination, capital of entertainment, we get people from all, all over the world. And it's nice to be able to interact with them and to meet different people. And it's, it's a great part of a great part of working here. Most of them are certified to administer CPR and use an automated external defibrillator. This life-saving training has proven invaluable during medical emergencies. Because they are out in the terminal walking around, they oftentimes see passengers who may be in distress. They are able to assist in terms of a quick assessment, calling for help to get the right people rolling. And we actually have had some team members who have saved lives by using the AEDs. When the airport is busy, PSRs assist with crowd control and help manage the lines in ticketing and at the security checkpoints. So just so you guys know, whenever you have that TSA pre-check, there's a faster lane you guys can use where you keep your coat, your shoes, and your belt on. Guys, follow me, I'll take you directly right. to it. Every day I try to put myself in their shoes. I know a lot of times it's their first vacation, they decided Las Vegas is someplace fun they want to visit. So whenever they ask questions or they're a little unsure or timid, 
I try to make it easier for them, try to explain things as simply as I can without overcomplicating them. Um, and I kind of like just knowing that they're leaving here with a smile, they know where they're going. Um, you know, and we service them as well as we can. Working with the public in the terminals, PSRs are often the first resource for passengers when extra help is needed. Their priority is to help the airport provide the best customer experience possible. And that's why passenger service representatives are at your service. With passenger numbers on the rise, attending to the daily operations at McCarran International Airport is more important than ever. But attending to the needs of the community we serve is also a top priority. Here's how the community enrichment team contributes to locals in need of a helping hand. In 2014, the Department of Aviation created the Community Enrichment Team to give staff the opportunity to get more involved locally through philanthropic activities and to make Clark County a better place to live by helping those in need. The team gives employees who don't normally work together the opportunity to participate in activities that positively impact the local community while instilling pride in the airport. Since the team's inception, Department of Aviation staff have participated in 11 outreach projects and 8 donation drives for a variety of local organizations, including Clark County Family Services, Clean the World, Miracle League, Opportunity Village, Project 150, Ronald McDonald House, Shade Tree Shelter, Spring Mountain Ranch, the Salvation Army, and USO. The community enrichment team recently spent a Saturday morning volunteering at Three Square Food Bank where employees helped pack fresh food for families here in Southern Nevada. Three Square's mission is to provide food for those who are food insecure throughout all of Southern Nevada. So that's four counties. And so in order for us to satisfy the need out there, it's essential that we have a large pool of volunteers and help either assemble meals in our community kitchen, bag produce in this room, as the group is today from McCarran Airport. Volunteers basically are the lifeline of our enterprise here. Most events are open to the entire family, which gives children the opportunity to work with their parents, learn about community service, and get an understanding about the importance of volunteerism. Community service is really part of our culture at uh, the Department of Aviation. Uh, we take great pride in reaching out to the community and assisting different charities that need assistance. And it really gets our employees engaged. Employees take great pride in volunteering for the different causes. And part of the program, we let the families come along and they volunteer with the staff. So it really gets the children working side by side with the parents. What I'm doing is I'm taking the bags and putting good tomatoes in it. And I think it helps by feeding people. We like volunteering. We've done these events before. We just like helping out and being part of the community. Well, I just hope that she um, gains an understanding of serving her community um, and just giving of herself um, you know, through service so that uh, she can help others. It's fun and my brother's here too so we all get to help. It's very heartwarming. It's heartwarming that the ones that have a bit more give to the less fortunate and it's definitely a lesson to my kids so I'm so grateful that we be here. Because like, if other people feel good then it makes me feel good. For those unable to attend weekend activities, on-site donation drives are a great way to participate. In addition to engaging employees outside of work for a great cause, the outreach activities provide a strong platform for leadership, team building, and skills development. Las Vegas is the venue of choice for some of the world's most popular conventions. The Helicopter Association International recently held its popular HAI Heli Expo in Las Vegas, and our very own North Las Vegas Airport played an important role in the event's success. Las Vegas hosted the HAI Heli Expo in February, giving the global helicopter industry the opportunity to connect with industry suppliers, build professional relationships, and network with peers. More than 60 helicopters and other multiple rotor aircraft were staged at North Las Vegas Airport as part of the show. North Las Vegas Airport played an important part in this year's convention. It served as a staging area for nearly every aircraft that was on display at the convention center. The location of North Las Vegas Airport is perfect for this convention. We have a very quick corridor going from North Las Vegas Airport to the Convention Center with very little impact to other traffic in the valley. 
More than 20,000 industry professionals from more than 90 countries attended this year's expo. In addition to earning continuing education credits, participants were able to advance their professional goals and discuss the issues that will shape the future of the industry through workshops, forums, and other special events. Everybody from around the world will come to this show, and that's so it's very important for us to be able to show them our products and new things that we have developed and to, to meet and greet a lot of the people that use our aircraft. Well, we're based in Torrance, California, a suburb of LA, so we were coming direct here. It's really a one fuel stop that we got come here directly, but it, it's actually fairly easy. We were told to go to North Las Vegas, which actually uh, I prefer. I think it's nice. You can get on the other side of McCarran, so you're not worrying about it. Uh, North Las Vegas fits all the needs. And then, obviously, from North Las Vegas here to the convention center, it's a super easy shot. Through hands-on demonstrations, including 60-plus helicopters on the show floor, the convention gave attendees the opportunity to experience the latest equipment and technology the industry has to offer. The expo is such a success, organizers hope to bring the event back to Las Vegas sometime in the future. And with improvements planned later this year, North Las Vegas Airport will be more than ready. As people spend more time in airports, unique works of art can provide passengers a moment of quiet reflection or quick respite from the hustle and bustle of air travel. Here's a look at one of the most popular installations gracing the gates of Terminal 3. Artist Stu Schechter juxtaposes the butterfly's natural instinct to migrate with the human urge to travel in his sculpture, Mirari, located just past the security checkpoint in Terminal 3. The artwork features two DC-3 airplanes composed of nearly 3,000 small butterfly sculptures with lead-free pewter bodies and fluttering polymer wings. A rabble of butterflies native to Nevada slowly coalesce into the lead ghost-like aircraft as the onlooker moves around the sculpture. The following plane is more visually literal and displays the tail logos from aircraft that have flown to and from McCarran. The airplanes are DC-3s, which are iconic airplanes, very recognizable. They date from about World War II, and they were the uh, uh, flagship airline for American Airlines back in the day. Artist and engineer Schechter worked with students from Newton North High School in his home state of Massachusetts to create the butterflies that make up the piece. The three-phase process involved the research, digital design, and printing of each brightly colored insect with the students and artists working closely together every step of the way. When this project came up, I immediately thought of them. This was an ideal project to do research on native species of butterfly, to look at uh, and research what airlines come in and out of McCarran Airport, and then artistically grab the different sections of these airline colors to then imprint on butterfly wings. So they got the entire process from investigatory to doing the artwork on the wings, all the way to the print where these were, we had to find particular materials that are archival and with high longevity. And so they got that part of the equation too. So it was very interesting for them. 2,400 fine stainless steel wires suspended from the ceiling allow the kaleidoscope of colored creatures to gracefully float and flutter with each passing breeze. From conception to completion, it took Schechter months to create his masterpiece that welcomes travelers from around the world to McCarran. What I really like about this is my artwork does draw people in. They see the, from the macro image from a distance, they see the large airplanes, they see two airplanes kind of facing each other. Well, what are they made of, right? You get a little bit closer, you start seeing that there are butterflies involved. And then you go, well, what's on those butterflies? They don't look like uh, normal wings, right? And uh, what I like about this piece too is that uh, I think it's satisfying for multiple viewings. Murari, which means to look at thoughtfully or to wonder at, has done just that for thousands of passengers who have passed through Terminal 3 on their way to or from Las Vegas. The Massachusetts-based artist who describes his sculpture as 3D pointillism has successfully combined both the mechanical and the natural into a cohesive piece of art that celebrates the magnificence of flight. The suspended sculpture is just one of many unique pieces of art in the McCarran collection that reminds travelers airports are more than just gateways to destinations, they're also gateways to culture. Non-stop service from Hainan Airlines and Korean Air is bringing visitors from Asia directly to McCarran. To enhance the airport experience for this important market segment, we recently installed hot water dispensers at Terminal 3. Let's take a look at the why and how. According to ancient Chinese medicine, drinking warm water is better for the digestive system and improves overall health. While Americans prefer ice water, most Chinese find hot water more refreshing. 
Having hot water for our Chinese guests is extremely important and an integral part of our China Welcome program. As we were working over the past couple of years of adding Chinese service, we really studied the amenities that the Chinese passenger looks for. And hot water is one of the key amenities. To accommodate this cultural preference, we installed several hot water dispensers on the east end of Terminal 3 on Level 2. One is located pre-security near the currency exchange and the other on the secure side across from gate E5. The water is sent uh, domestically. Uh, there is a sediment filter, a 10 micron filter. Uh, then it goes to the heating unit. There is a, a 2.5 kilowatt uh, heating element at the unit itself. And then from that point, uh, it's pretty basic. We could just program the temperature to whatever we want. Water is dispensed at 175 degrees, which is a significantly lower temperature than traditional hot water boilers used in commercial service. But several safety precautions have been implemented. Each dispenser includes universal warning and safety signage and a triple trigger safety dispensing handle. And so it actually takes three different actions to dispense the hot water. Uh, we really try to be thoughtful in our approach to uh, customer safety. Some of the unique features are is that uh, first we can aerate the water. Secondly, that the units themselves were uh, designed by the DOA and we had them fabricated here locally in Las Vegas. The hot water dispensers are just one more way to make passengers feel welcome at McCarran and each unit can dispense up to 21.5 gallons per hour, which in turn will serve a minimum of 300 passengers an hour if needed. So there's plenty of refreshing hot beverage to go around. Now you're ready to pack your bags and fly the sky, so have a great trip. Remember to check us out on Facebook and follow us on Twitter, and use all the resources of our website, mccarran.com. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Flight Path.